What's up, folks? Today is Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. Rich Van Tassel giving you an injury update following now week two of the NFL season, of course, the Monday night game. I got a lot of pretty big injuries uh, after this week and some extended period of time injuries. Um, you know, they have Greg Olson at the top, Carolina Panthers. Uh, I wouldn't say that is the most important. We'll get into who I think is the most important just a minute. I'm just coming across that. I want to, you know, show kind of the order of significance ESPN is putting them in. Greg Olson, the tight end, he had a broken foot. He's going to be out six to eight weeks with that foot. I'm not sure if Carolina has a bye week in there, but certainly he's going to miss an extended period of time. Olsen, a guy who's always really been Cam Newton's favorite target. He has not done much uh, early on in this season, though. Only three receptions for 28 yards. He is one of the better tight ends in the league, and uh, it looks like he has been having his troubles adjusting to that new style of offense where they want to get the ball out of Cam Newton's hands a lot quicker. And I'm a little surprised. Usually tight end, that type of offense will flourish. So, um, you know, I really didn't have any doubts that Olsen would figure it out. But, of course, at this point, you know, after missing some time, that could really hamper the Carolina Panthers moving forward when he comes back. Uh, how do you reincorporate him into the offense? Remember, it's not like, you know, if this happened a few weeks from now, granted, you might only be getting him back towards the end of the season, but at least he would have fully acclimated to the offense. Now you don't know what to do. And of course, Greg Olson is a guy from New Jersey, so I got to give him that as well. Uh, I think Vic Beasley Jr. is the most uh, important injury. Vic Beasley Jr., uh, all-pro guy, and he's going to be out for uh, what looks like at least a month is what they're saying. It's a hamstring tear, so that's a serious injury, especially for a, a pass rushing guy trying to get explosiveness and really uh, get off quick uh, when the ball is snapped uh, with that hamstring when you're down in that crouch. It's going to be tough, so that's a serious injury to keep an eye on at least a month. Marshall Yander, the guard for the Baltimore Ravens, he's a starter. He's one of the better guards in the league. He's out for the season with a fractured ankle. Garrett Bowles is going to miss some time. Uh, he has a broken ankle. Uh, of course, we just said Yanda had the ankle, and he's out for the season. It looks like Bowles may get, or Garrett Bowles may get some time. He's an offensive tackle for the Denver Broncos, and uh, you know, frankly, I hope he can get back on the field at least, or it's not, you know, terribly dangerous. Because when I was watching this game, when he went down, man, the guy was in tears. I mean, he he looked like a guy who had a potential career-threatening injury the way he went down, and there's some talk he may come back later in the season. So uh, that's good in that regard. Oh, no, he didn't break his ankle. It's just a bone bruise. So uh, that's even better. Yeah, it says Fear uh, Bowles had a broken ankle, and that's why I thought it might have been. Because if you watch that game when Garrett Bowles went down, man, it did not look good. Uh, Jordy Nelson... No real news on his timetable. Ryan Schrader, uh, he was out. Uh, Ryan Schrader, Devontae Freeman, concussions. So those are really the serious time-missing ones. Uh, B.J. Goodson, a guy who was coming along for the Giants. Chidobia Wuze is uh, nothing of note, the cornerback for the Cowboys, as far as any significant time of games. Hamstring injury you're going to have, though. Uh, looks like Nolan Carroll will be out for some time with a concussion, so we'll keep an eye on those. But those are the big ones that you have. Uh, you know, you got a few other guys. Awuze uh, and Nolan Carroll for the Cowboys secondary are pretty important. B.J. Goodson, a guy for the Giants defense who was looking bright. But again, we don't really have the timetable on those. But the major injuries, Greg Olson, going to be out six to eight weeks. Marshall Yanda out for the season. Uh, Olson has a broken foot. Marshall Yanda, fractured ankle. Vic Beasley Jr., a hamstring tear at least a month that serious. And Garrett Bowles, uh, look like he's going to miss some time, but certainly got to give, uh, you know, thanks that Garrett Bowles, it wasn't a much more significant injury. Because I'm telling you, if you saw this guy, I mean, you he looked just absolutely beyond devastated when that happened. I thought it might have been career-threatening. So that's always good news that it's not. All right, so come Thursday, we will give you the preview of the Rams 49ers game. Be sure to stay tuned for that, and remember, we appreciate all subscriptions as well. Thank you all so much.